NDA has released the final guidelines for conducting the common university entrance test. This is for the first time that a common university entrance test would be held and this would be across all disciplines which is BA, BSc, uh, BCom, then you have any other B ed, any other disciplines that you want to enroll into central universities for this year. And state and private and deemed to be universities can also go by the scores of this. This would be conducted by NTA on a computer based model and there would be MCQ kind of questions which would be asked. Now this exam would have four sections. What are the four sections are important and what you need to prepare, how you need to prepare. So under this four sections, the first section is 13 languages. You would have to opt for one language that would be compulsory. And then section 1B is for those who wants to pursue their career in languages. They want to do their bachelor's in languages. They would go for section 1B. So here you would have option for various languages like French, uh, French German, uh, Italian, Japanese, uh, Bodo, Santli. So all those would be available here. Then there are 27 domain spe specific subjects of which a maximum of six subjects have to be chosen by the candidates. And finally, a general test, which is mandatory for all students. Now, this would be mandatory for all students. Coming on to details, the section 1A has 13 different languages and section 1B has 19 different languages. Uh, but these 19 languages are different from those 13 which have been chosen above. Now, out of 50, 40 questions have to be attempted here. Now, questions would be factual, literary, narrative and also include vocabulary. Each language section would have 45 minutes of weightage. Clear? The next is the domain specific subject. So, as we said, 27 subject domains, we would discuss those of which maximum of 6 are to be taken and the university the choice should match the requirements of the desired university. So each university would lay down their uh, requisite requirements for the various courses and based on that you would have to pick up the courses. Now here again out of 50 you have to attempt 40 questions. 45 minutes would be given for each domain subject. So if you are taking 6 domain subjects then it would be 6 into 45 that would be the total minutes that would be applied the complete exam would be based on the ncrt class 12th syllabus only not even 11th only 12th syllabus so if you have done your 12th thoroughly then you should be able to work with the section 2 domain the section 3 is a general test which would include basic quantitative reasoning taught up to grade 8 and then it would include current affairs general knowledge uh, reasoning questions numeric and logical analytical questions of the 75 questions 60 have to be attempted so good choice is there definitely you can understand which areas you are strong on and you can attempt those questions but for this one question one minute is given so 60 minutes would be given to you now uh, what would be the subjects that would we would have a lot of questions students have this question I am from a science background, what, what domains can I take? I am from an arts background, what domain can I take? So for languages, the compulsory one, if you are from an English medium, you can go for English. For Hindi medium students, you can go for Hindi. And then for regional medium, we have the all other languages of India. Uh, then you have the 19 languages in which you want to specialize. Those are the languages where you want to get a bachelor's degree. Let's say I want to do a uh, bachelor's in French. Then I would have to opt for French as one of the options if my university requires that qualification. So probably yes. So uh, those are some of the lists of subjects that would be required as part of languages. Coming on to domain subjects, there are 27 domain subjects. Now Sanskrit would be inclusive for all those who are appearing for Shastri, uh, Dharma Shastra, Advait Vedanta or all kinds of Vedanta, Sar, Darshan, any of those would require Sanskrit as one of the subjects to be applied for. Then you would also have uh, the various subjects that would be uh, basically those in your arts, science and commerce. So from your science you have biology, uh, then there is physics, uh, mathematics as one subject only, then there is chemistry and physics. Clear? So those are for the science students. Coming on for uh, commerce students, accountancy or bookkeeping, either one of those. Then you would have business studies as one of the subjects. Economics or business economics is another subject. Those from uh, 
सोशल साइंसेज वुड हैव जियोग्राफी साइकोलॉजी सोशलॉजी पॉलिटिकल साइंस मास कम्युनिकेशन देन देर आर वेरियस अदर सब्जेक्ट्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ आई वॉन्ट टू गो फॉर अ बी एड कोर्स देन प्रोबेबली टीचिंग एप्टीट्यूड वुड बी अ रिक्वायरमेंट द फाइनल वुड बी रिलीज विद द डिटेल नोटिफिकेशन इज आउट ओनली आफ्टर सेकेंड अप्रिल सो ऑन सेकेंड अप्रिल द डिटेल नोटिफिकेशन वुड बी आउट सो सेकेंड टू थर्ड अप्रिल यू वुड हैव द टाइम लाइन फॉर फिलिंग द फॉर्म्स फॉर दिस ईयर सी यू सेट सी यू टी एग्जाम एंड यू वुड बी अपियरिंग इन द मंथ ऑफ जुलाई नाउ इफ आई वॉन्ट टू डू माई बैचलर्स इन एग्रीकल्चर then probably agriculture is one of the options that i have to take those students going for performing arts fine arts visual arts would have the relevant subjects that they would have to pursue their degree in now as i said a maximum of 3 languages can be chosen from section 1a and 1b if i want to go for a language specific domain subject then uh, for section 2 maximum of 6 subjects can be taken and section 3 general test is common for all so those are some of the important guidelines that have been released now this would be an objective type question uh, question paper with multiple choice questions the registration would start from 1st of uh, this uh, 1st of next month and this is the web link where you would be registering for it and as it says class 12th board syllabus only so uh, make sure if you are preparing for your board exams nicely you would be able to appear for this uh examination in a well prepared manner uh, the next important thing is by mid of april we would be releasing the complete uh, cuet material on door strip tutor so here is the link uh, we already have those for ma entrance but for bachelors uh, we would have that soon as you would uh, proceed uh, so probably by 15th of april uh, maximum by 15th of april you would have most of the subjects and general test and language that would be available on the platform and also we would be covering numerous lectures which would help you uh, get a better insight what kind of questions can come what is the orientation you need to prepare since you are preparing for your board and board this time is subjective you need to have an objective mindset so a lot of practice questions would also be available and that would be a good way through which you can actually get a good understanding and also video lectures would be available on most of the subjects so that you can have a quick revision of the content thank you very much thanks for joining